So Vyacheslav Glaskov beats Thomas Adamek with a 12 round unanimous decision to become the IBF number two contender. This was a pretty good performance by Glaskov, and I didn't expect Glaskov to win. I knew he had a good chance. Adamek is no world beater, but I felt that Adamek's movement might give Glaskov a bit more problems than it did because certainly in the Malik Scott fight, the movement of Scott gave Glaskov a lot of problems and most neutral observers thought Glaskov lost that fight against Malik Scott. But against Thomas Adamek, the crucial thing was Glaskov had much longer arms and I wasn't sure which guy was going to have the longer arms. So when I saw them in the ring, it was a slight surprise to me how much longer Glaskov's arms really were than Adamex. Because when they were trading straight shots, the guy with the longer arms was obviously getting to the target. And the guy with the shorter arms, Adamek, wasn't getting to the target. His shots were kind of falling, you know, a couple inches short. So Glaskov's best punch in the fight was the jab. He was busting Adamek up with it. And Adamek, he's a tough guy. And he did well to get through that fight because a, a lot of times during the fight, it looked like he was going to get stopped. Glaskov was continuously pounding his face with that jab. Good straight right hands as well he was hitting Adamek with. Didn't manage to get the stoppage in the end. Uh, Glaskov is a bit one-paced. If you, if you want to have a criticism of this performance, he is a bit one-paced. He doesn't really turn it up. Not enough body punching for my liking. But overall, it was a good performance. And like I say, I was expecting Adamek to maybe outpoint him. Uh, confuse him a little bit with movement but Glaskov's jab was so accurate that Adamek just couldn't get away with it so it d didn't matter that he was moving side to side Glaskov was still able to touch him with a jab when Adamek came in to throw his own punches so you know decent performance by Glaskov not sure how far he can go in the division though uh, drop your comments below let me know how you felt about his performance and where you see him in the heavyweight division in terms of his place going forward who would you like to see him matched up against next and what do you, what, how good a chance do you think he has of winning a heavyweight title? Yeah, so <laughs> there's a couple of questions there for you guys. But let me know how you feel about Glasgow and his performance. And drop your comments below. This is Hatman. I'm out.